Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks Part 2, where we changed the dimension of our tabs when we expanded this up from this size to this size. Now, if you watch Part 1, you could do this exact same thing uh, by doing the angles, you know, t rotating like, you know, in one in this one, you're going to do the inside ones, you know, the joint to bring them out. <laughs> but I thought I'd just kind of show you another way that uh, might be a little bit better on something that doesn't have angles, maybe. So we got one or 4.44 millimeters. And we need it to be three. So what I'm going to do, and this is a little bit time consuming and everything, but it's uh, if you had to do it in another uh, way. So I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to go from there to there, from node to node. Now, I want to have to change these in just a second. And I'm actually going to, I'm working with his file. I'm going to back up and change my drawing tool to red. Get rid of that. I'm going to double click on this or hit F12 on your keyboard. Change the graphic to red. Just make life a little bit easier. Now, Go back to this, take your two-point line, because I want to be able to see the difference in the colors of the line. You can see the red. So I've got to go, you know, and I started thinking about it, I don't even have to go all the way around. You could actually do half of it and split it, but this is, it's not that difficult. Two-point line. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm making a good parallel line on that box. And I am going to have to expand them out to have them cross. But there's a cool little trick to do that. And the reason I made them red, and now you can look down here and you know you have the red one selected. Holding down the shift key, expand it out. It expands it out both directions. Holding down the shift key and grabbing that corner. And see it's expanding it on the same parallel. Now this one just kind of make sure you get that, hold down the shift key. You can you can have your lines as long as you want. It doesn't really matter. You can grab that red, holding down the shift key, and we'll only have one more to do. Let me zoom in here. Holding down the sh shift key and bring it out. Now what I want to do is take my Smart Fill tool and fill that in and move it over. Now I can check on my box and move it out of the way, and I can move my lines out of the way. You don't. You want to nudge from here on out. You you don't want to uh, move it ever. Then I'm going to left click, right click, and remember the fact that I only want. Let me nudge it over. We only want to change this up. So here's gonna be the little key. We're gonna take this, and remember we had 4.44? We're gonna contour the outside 1.44, and it just made it a little bit bigger. Go up to object, break the contour apart. Grab our red one and move it out of the way. You can see that it fits perfectly. Grab our black one, and I, I do not want to change the this part of the drawing. I just want to change this. So now I take a rectangle and I take my Smart Fill tool and I fill that in. I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I'm actually going to get it somewhere where there's not a line. And then I'm going to Smart Fill that. And I am going to left click, right click, and if you remember, we had, let me get rid of this. Remember our joints were, let's just do it. Change it to millimeters. Remember our joints were 4.44. Now our joints are Change it to millimeters. 
three points, three millimeters. So now it's going to fit. Then the one I'm doing it for, uh, make sure your stuff is a hairline because this wasn't a hairline. So change it to a hairline to cut it out. Make it red. Red it to me just signifies a cut line and see how you, now you're going to need, he's evidently got a bottom and a top, but he can figure that part out. But by doing this, you can kind of arrange. Now, two things. Don't take my word for this, that this worked. Test it. I'm 99% sure I'm 100% right, if that made any sense. But test it. Uh, like that piece goes in there. Um, you know, just test it. Um, let's just take, let's take one of these and I don't care, I can't remember the, oh. Let's put it at zero. Well, now let's mirror it and see how they snap together. But I would still test them. And by testing, instead of wasting this amount of laser time and this amount of wood, you know, that's, I have to change mine back to inches. You know, that's, a, that's a 18 inches of wood. If it didn't fit or they're too low or too tight, you know, you're not going to be happy. So test it. And what you could do is just take a, uh, a rectangle. Once again, take the smart fill tool. There's your one box. You can take that same rectangle. And so on that, I did the inside. Well, I can do the inside on both of them. And for just a little bit of wood, you could test that to make sure that joint fits. It doesn't normally, when you're, when they're, everything's the exact same, you know, if this is uh, whatever exact same, sometimes, now, but see, we've got the thickness of the wood perfect. It's this joint here now that's going to make it tight or not. And, if it's not tight, uh, I've got several videos on how to make this a little bit tighter because you've got a kerf. You know, if you if you cut these two out, the laser beam has a thickness to it and it's going to leave that gap and leave it a little bit loose. Anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helps. And thank you for watching.